Well, I've, I've been told that uh, you are a very important person, as I told you, and <laughs> they, they respect you for your work. Uh, basically, uh, he told me that you work uh, with, uh, with Fable. Yes. And one of the questions we want to ask you is how you visualize the future of the, of, of the industry? Uh, because um, right now, I think you are, you are by your own, right? Yeah. So, well, I mean, I've, 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 I've thought, you know, I was at a company called Lionhead, which is owned by Microsoft, and then I decided to leave, and now I've um, set up a new company called 22 Pounds, and that's, you know, a small team, there's 14 of us now, and we'll grow to about 20 people, you know, reasonably soon. So, but yeah, we're very, you know, independent because we're experimenting with new ideas. Okay, great. What uh, I think that is very important for us to know is what do you think the future of video games is? Uh, maybe on gaming, maybe... Yeah, on I mean, it's a very interesting question. I mean, and, and, and I've been asked that question uh, many, many, many times over many, many, many years. And, uh, you know, I've got it very, very wrong many, many times. But, you know, one thing I feel is that you know, everything's going to change. It always does change. You know, the computer games industry has always gone through these radical changes. It started in arcades and then it went into home computers and then home computers turned into consoles and now consoles have started to play movies and do Facebook and have internet on. And, and now we've got these devices. So this is just part of this change process. I do feel though that there is a lot of technology around and there's a lot of technology that games will start to use and some of that technology is stuff that you can see like you know, iPads and iPhones and some of that technology is stuff that you can't see like the cloud and cloud computing and multi-device play and a connected experience and all of these things are going to come together and when they do start really coming together they're going to make whole new genres of games and so you, you know if we look out in five years time or ten years time we're going to be probably playing different sorts of games hard to imagine what those sorts of games are in different sort of ways with different sort of people but I'm very, very confident that the games are going to be continue to be a very, very mass form of entertainment. Okay. And one other question uh, is uh, regarding to Fable and your work in Fable, and this very important yeah. franchise on Microsoft. Yeah. Do you think Fable is your like uh, your better work so far, or there is another thing that that you maybe remember that's? Uh, uh, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost. Well, I am ashamed of almost every game, well, every game that I've done. Not really? <laughs> yeah, because I think, you know, and there's, a, there's a logical reason for that, is that I think as a designer, you have this picture in your head of what you want a game to be. And it's so beautiful and perfect and wonderful. And when you finally get that picture out of your head onto the screen and you finally play it, you're, always, you're kind of always a bit disappointed by it. And I also think that, I'll be honest with you, I think very often I've, when I've described to the press and to, to, to gamers the picture in my head, I've, I, you know, that's come out as being you know, a bit too much of a promise. So I think people have been somewhat disappointed in you know, what the final result is. I, I, I'm very much a perfectionist. I, you know, I, I, I love being given the time to craft something which is perfect. And there were moments in Fable which were great. And there were a lot of moments which were very, very long way from being great. So, you know, I love, I've loved all of the games I've worked on. I deeply love them. They feel like, you know, children almost. Uh, and, and, you know, some games have been worse than other games, and, you know, but I look back and it drives me on to do something hopefully even better. It means that maybe the best is about to come. Oh, well, if I didn't believe that, if I didn't sincerely believe that the thing that I'm working on now is going to be simply the best thing that I have ever done, I, I, I don't think I've got to do it.
understand. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate your time and we have um, this big opportunity to meet you here in E3. And for all the persons that uh, for some reason is related to, to gaming and computers, they know you, they know your work and they admire you very much. Even though our country is very little. <laughs> It must be the same size Thank as you. England. I'm sorry? It must be the same size as England, uh, Costa Rica. Well, uh, we have so many different things uh, from from England. England is you know, full of history and you know, Same as Costa Rica. <laughs> We how, are many people, little, how many people, what's the population of Costa Rica? We are near a little more than 4 million. So, yeah. so it's very little country. Yeah. Uh, and we are like uh, 50, let me see, 51,000 uh, kilometers we have. Yeah. Uh, the square area, kilometers. square kilometers, was, it's a very little country. There's a, there's a section of, of the... Of, um, Britain called Wales. Well, something like that, yes. yes. But in comparison of, of uh, England, well, where you have so much history and, and you know, different places, and, uh, we are a different, uh, a different country. Just a, a culture which the world hasn't seen yet, where America has done a good job and Hollywood has done a good job of showing the of interpreting the culture of Britain in a good way. So if it wasn't for America and, and uh, that, I'm not sure we can have Britain. So that's, that's, that's great and I hope that sometime you come and see our country and maybe you have some inspiration for your games. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye.